A sugar pill, also known as a placebo, is a medication or treatment that has no therapeutic effect. In other words, it does not actually do anything to address the medical condition it is intended to treat. The term, sugar pill, comes from the fact that placebos used to be made from sugar or other harmless substances, and they were often shaped like pills or capsules. The placebo effect is the phenomenon in which a patient's symptoms improve simply because they believe they are receiving a real treatment. It is thought to be the result of a combination of factors, including the patient's expectations, beliefs, and the power of suggestion. The term, placebo effect, was first used in the medical literature in the early 20th century. It is derived from the Latin word, placebo, which means, I shall please. In the original Latin, the phrase, placebo domino, I shall please the Lord, was used as a liturgical formula during the singing of psalms, and it eventually came to be used more broadly to refer to any kind of treatment or intervention that was given with the intention of soothing or placating someone. When a patient expects to receive a treatment that will help them feel better, their body may respond by releasing natural chemicals that help to reduce pain, lower stress, and improve overall well-being. This response can lead to a reduction in symptoms and an improvement in the patient's condition even if they take a sugar pill instead of the real pill. The power of suggestion can also play a role in the placebo effect. If a patient believes that a treatment will help them, they may be more likely to report feeling better after receiving it, even if it is a dummy treatment. This effect can be strengthened by the presence of a caring and supportive healthcare provider, who may communicate confidence and optimism about the treatment's effectiveness. It is important to note that the placebo effect is not a form of deception or trickery. It is a natural response to treatment that can be harnessed and used to benefit patients in certain circumstances. However, the placebo effect is not a replacement for effective medical treatment, and it should not be relied upon as a sole form of treatment for serious medical conditions. Some studies have found that the placebo effect is more likely to occur in conditions that are influenced by psychological or emotional factors, such as pain, anxiety, and depression. Other conditions, such as diabetes or cancer, are less likely to be influenced by the placebo effect because they are primarily influenced by physiological processes that are not directly affected by a patient's expectations or beliefs. The placebo effect has been used in clinical trials to control for the psychological effects of treatment, such as the patient's expectations and beliefs about the treatment. In a clinical trial, a group of patients is usually divided into two groups, a treatment group that receives the experimental treatment being tested, and a control group that receives a placebo treatment that is indistinguishable from the experimental treatment. The results of the trial are then compared to determine the effectiveness of the experimental treatment. The use of placebos in clinical trials allows researchers to control for the placebo effect and other psychological factors that may influence the outcome of the trial. This helps to ensure that the results of the trial are as accurate and unbiased as possible, and allows researchers to determine the true effectiveness of the experimental treatment being tested. The placebo effect can work even when people know they are taking a placebo. In a study of patients with irritable bowel syndrome, those who were told they were taking a placebo still reported significant improvements in their symptoms, indicating that belief can be a strong factor in the placebo effect. The placebo effect is not limited to pills and medications. Other forms of treatment, such as acupuncture, hypnosis, and even surgery, can also produce the placebo effect. In fact, studies have shown that placebos can have real physiological effects on the body, including changes in brain activity, hormone levels, and other biological markers. Additionally, the size and color of a placebo pill can influence its effectiveness. For example, patients given larger placebo pills have reported greater improvements in their symptoms compared to those given smaller pills, and blue placebo pills have been found to be more effective at reducing anxiety than white pills. The placebo effect can also vary between cultures, with some research suggesting that it may be stronger in some cultures compared to others. One study found that placebos were more effective at reducing pain in Western countries compared to Eastern countries. Let's summarize. A placebo is a dummy treatment 
such as a sugar pill or a sham procedure, that has no inherent therapeutic value. The placebo effect occurs when a patient's symptoms improve simply because they believe they are receiving a real treatment. This response can be influenced by the patient's expectations, beliefs, and the power of suggestion. The use of placebos in clinical trials allows researchers to control for the placebo effect and isolate the specific effects of the experimental treatment being tested. This helps to ensure that the results of the trial are as accurate and unbiased as possible. By understanding the role of expectations in the placebo effect, we can gain a deeper appreciation of the complex interplay between psychological and physiological factors in the effectiveness of medical treatment. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below and I'll be sure to respond. Thank you.